What's in the menu today? Fine dining Swedish meatballs. It all started from the concept coupe, which then blossomed into the stunning looking XC90, and now this gorgeous pair the S90 and the V90T6, all dressed up in our design suits. Just like the XC90, they are made out of tears of an angel, breath of a unicorn, and the finest hair from Zlatan Ibrahimovic's left nostril. And yes, we were all teary eyed when we saw them in metal. Definitely one of the best-looking cars in this segment right now, if not the best-looking ones. But I need to pick one today to focus on. The sedan or the wagon? The one with the better-looking bum, of course. The front look of both our design wagon and sedan are actually identical. Black horizontal mesh grille with silk metal finish frame, our design front bumper with plenty of sensors around it, and this beautiful pair of Taurus Hammer adaptive LED headlights. It is basically designed to widen the car visually and also to create a strong presence. Along the sides, I love this 19-inch R design wheels. It has got a long dash to front axle length similar to the one in the XC90, it gives a sporty yet elegant look, portraying a long hood with short front overhang. Side mirrors are finished in silk metal paint, and unlike the older Scandinavian wagons which were boxy, this one right here has a nice sloping roofline, and it looks great from the side. It's very well proportioned. Same goes to the sedan S90. The rear end on the V90, spot on. The S90 on the other hand, well, it has got the concept coupe's rear end, but I'm not quite sure if it actually worked. I'm still trying to digest the entire S90 rear end's design. But what's interesting is this. Volvo says instead of slapping the logo onto a flat surface just for the sake of displaying, here it is served to you. Interesting. These bumper integrated exhaust tips are lovely as well. The premium level in here is off the roof. It feels and looks amazing. According to the designers, their aim is to make every touch point a celebration every time you touch them. A feeling of high quality, from the solid door handle to little buttons and this air vent knob right here. And I have to say, they have managed it pretty well. The R design seats look amazing. A combination of Napa and Nubuck leather. And they are surprisingly comfortable as well. It looks like a dark and sporty XC90 in here. The centerpiece is this metal spine that holds everything up like a backbone and it has this nice carbon fibre inlays as well. The R design steering wheel can look a bit sportier, I feel, but it works fine for me because it feels great and it has got pedal shifters. Middle Cluster is a 12.3 inch TFT adaptive digital display which you can select the theme you want. I like this really nice air vents design. In the centre, it is a 9-inch Sensors Connect touchscreen system from the XC90. It is actually developed and designed by Volvo and you can use it while wearing gloves. Well, not like you wear gloves in Malaysia, but it's good to know. So everything is stored in here like driver assist settings, car status, camera views, and even climate control. It was quite difficult to change the aircon settings while driving at first, but I got used to it after a while because the buttons are so huge you won't miss them while you're on the move. Down here, media player controls. And I love this center console here with the carbon fiber theme. Well, there's no Auroforge crystal knob, but that's a sporty one. I like this diamond cut engine start stop knob with drive mode select dial. And there's a decent sized armrest compartment right here. It is very spacious back here and you sink in comfortably into these seats. But I find the back door 
it's weirdly small and it makes entry to the back rather tight. You get air vent on the B-pillar, window sun shade, this huge panoramic sunroof, armrest with cup holders, booster seats for kids between 4 to 10 years old. You don't get this in the S90 though. And isofix points. For those who are travelling with kids below 4 years old, please use a car seat. A child seat with isofix feature is fairly easy to use. Just push up the latch, point it into the isofix point, push it in, and anchor it to the back. And tighten it, and you're ready to go. Boot space in the S90 is impressive, but it's even more impressive here in the V90. You can fit tall and long things. If you have even longer things, you can fold the seats flat and you are good to go. Have I told you that this thing makes 320 horsepower? It is definitely not your ordinary station wagon. But sitting in that hood, it's just a 2-litre, 4-cylinder engine with an 8-speed automatic gearbox. Just how? The Drive E engine in Volvo's T6 variants is twin-charged. Both supercharged and turbocharged. That's how. Making 320 horsepower and 400 Newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 in 6.1 seconds and it has got a top speed of 250 km per hour. Just like the XC90, the 90 series is well equipped with Volvo's IntelliSafe safety features, such as the city safety with full auto brake, pedestrian, cyclist, and large animal detection with full auto brake, and many more. But the most interesting one has to be the pilot assist because it is the closest you can get to autonomous driving. Activate it and the system takes over. The car goes into semi-autonomous mode. It accelerates and brakes for you by detecting the distance with the car in front. It even steers for you by reading the white lines on the road, making sure that you stay within your lane. Well, of course, you can't go all hands-free because driver's input is still required from time to time or else the car will just cut off the session. Well, I guess it's so that you don't take the system for granted and eventually fall asleep behind the wheel. It is a very clever feature and it's not meant to take over driving entirely. It is merely to assist. It is especially useful when you're in traffic jam. But of course, don't abuse it by doing funny stunts like clipping your fingernails or reading a newspaper or even eating a burger. You can do all that, but don't do all that. So now, how does it drive? Both S90 and V90 T6 variants come only in R-Design form, which means it has got R-Design sport chassis with lowered ride height, 15mm lower than the T5, and a retuned steering. All these come together extremely well with the Drive E engine, and the icing on the cake is the all-wheel drive system. On Eco and Comfort mode, it feels like your trusty old family butler. Very well managed, comfortable even on this sportier suspension, and safe. Yes, you feel safe in one of these because of the weight that comes with it. The good kind of weight. Whenever you feel like smoking someone at a set of lights, just go on to dynamic mode, and he will immediately put on his red cape, grab his hammer, and get the job done. Both engine and gearbox become responsive, steering wheel tightens, and even the brakes go on to dynamic mode. The supercharger ensures that you get the immediate power, and the turbo comes in after that to get you up to speed in no time. And yes, they have finally fitted the right seats. It holds you down properly so that you don't slide about. And it is very comfortable. If you drive the S90 and the V90 back to back, you will feel the difference. The S90 feels lighter and it has got lesser body roll, mainly due to the body type. This is a long, wide and big wagon, but it doesn't feel like one thanks to the sport chassis and the all-wheel drive system that distributes the right amount of power to each wheel as needed. 
The grip level in this thing is so impressive, it makes it agile. I kid you not because it performs so well in my usual test route. I arrive at my destination going, wow, I did all that in this thing? Every single time. That sense of security you get as you enter a corner at speed gives you that confidence to push the car a little more. It is everything but sluggish. Yes, it does have body roll, very minimal, but it sure lean in, into and out of corner pretty well. There are little butts here and there. Well, nothing is perfect, right? So, for example, the pedal shifters feel like switches. There's no travel or the slightest mechanical feel to it. The gearbox is not exactly fast, and at times, it feels a bit hesitant. And the car does rumble like a diesel engine at low speed. All these little shortcomings are still acceptable. I'm never a wagon fan, but after spending a few days with this beautiful thing, a safe, comfortable family car that grips so well, I'm sold. Now, I know you are waiting for that one big butt. It's actually tough because there are two ways of delivering this piece of info to you, and it depends on how you interpret them. Here goes. The S90 and V90 T6 R design variants are available in limited numbers only. But you can get the XC90 T8 inscription for a much lower price. That's one way. Here's another. You can get the XC90 T8 inscription for a much lower price. But the S90 and V90 T6 R design variants are available in limited numbers only. The choice is yours. Why in limited number, you ask? Well, that's because Volvo Cars Malaysia will be introducing the T8 plug-in hybrid variant in Malaysia very soon. But the S90 and the V90 T6 R design variants are available in limited numbers only. So, is this car for you? Well, if you want a stylish, comfortable, elegant, sporty, practical, safe and fast executive saloon for your business travels and family trips, then a big yes because hashtag what German rebels. But if you want a more subtle Volvo because you think that this is just too powerful and the ride is a bit too sporty for you and your family, then probably not. You should then consider the S90 or the V90 T5 variant instead. If you want to find out more about the all-new Volvo S90 and V90 T6R design, do log on to autobus.my. If you like our video, do give us a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the logo or the subscribe button below. 9-inch Sensus touchscreen cut. I don't remember what the hell is it. The 9-inch Sensus Connect touchscreen system. Touch scream. The nine inch sensors connect touch scream. Touch scream! My daughter's toy. It's in the car. I don't know where to put it. And it makes a lot of noise. Stay. Stay.